Hey guys, Mike here. I guess you could tell by now that, well, I'm in a different room for a change. And that's because instead of filming in my living room like I normally do, today I decided to film in the bedroom, but that's not what I'm talking about today. Today I'm talking about The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I just completed the DLC 2 quest champions ballad and oh my goodness that was a marathon for me anyway since I'm not a big time youtuber right now I'm just a casual so for me the obliterator trial and the the, the and the, the the Divine Beast Trials, excuse me. As well as the next part of the quest. I'm not going to spoil it here, but there is a boss fight at the end of it. and Oh my goodness. Today I'm going to be talking about the reward for completing all of that. The Master Cycle Zero, which for those who are out of the loop, is basically Link's Divine Beast. Yeah, that's the best way I can explain it. And the way it works is once you get it, it is another rune for your Sheikah Slate. You know, like the Amiibo rune, the bombs, Magnesis, Stasis, etc. I'm not going through all the runes, I just did most of them. But you can activate it, well you can summon it anywhere, almost anywhere. I couldn't use it in Gerudo Desert, which I was kind of expecting that since it's a motorbike. And it's just another way to get around Hyrule. And I, at first I was like, I think that's a little over the top than putting a motorbike in The Legend of Zelda. I mean, that was my first reaction when I was watching the trailer. But as I was looking more into it and thinking more about it, I decided that it actually makes sense within the Breath of the Wild universe since there's already four divine beasts with ancient technology ro roaming around and considering what they're capable of they're basically weapons of mass destruction and you have the guardians running around and flying around and all this other ancient Sheikah tech such as the ancient arrows the ancient horse gear from the DLC pack to name a few and suddenly a motorcycle didn't seem that far-fetched this video is not only about basically what it is, but some of the highlights of my quest to obtain this item. Now, I don't know if I have all of the footage. I guess I'll be uh, checking that when I go to put everything together. But some of the challenges were repetitive some of them did give me a hard time like the bow and arrow challenge for one of the divine beasts I'm not gonna spoil it here but it took it took me more tries than I care to admit and fighting all the blight Ganons again you know water blight thunder blight fire blight and wind blight that was fun I like the little catch-22s they gave you with that, like you can only use this weapon or this equipment. And it gave it an interesting twist, like, can you fight this boss without your Master Sword, without your Hylian Shield? Can you do it with this significantly weaker weapon? 
and this armor and limited recovery items such as food. And I know there's already a ton of videos up on YouTube about it. They're not my video. So without further ado, here are some of my highlights in obtaining this item, as well as some gameplay footage of me just messing around and riding the motorcycle, seeing what I can do, as well as refueling it, summoning it, etc. Losing it, by resummoning it. And before I start to ramble, like I feel like I already am, I've been going on for almost six minutes. Here's my highlight reel of obtaining this item. watched your journey, every step. You have overcome every challenge with great courage. With the power that you have attained, I am certain you can defeat Calamity Ganon. Truly.
And we're back. I hope you enjoyed my uh, little highlight reel there. I think I'm going to be filming more videos in this chair. So I'm not going to lie, it's an old chair. But it's something I'm definitely comfortable in, but not what I wanted to say here. What I wanted to say here was if is if you're like me and just plowed through the main quest before this DLC came out and didn't really do any side quests, I would say that this is worth it. Or even if you're playing a new game and you did all the Divine Beasts, but you want to do some more stuff before you fight Ganon, definitely get this item. I mean, for me, running around Hyrule on the motorcycle is so, so liberating. I mean, I didn't have the ancient horse gear, so I couldn't summon a horse anywhere. So I would constantly be having to go to a stable or fast traveling to set locations to get a horse. And it always seemed to take up a lot of my play session just getting from A to B. But now that I have the motorcycle, excuse me, the Master Cycle Zero, I just press a button and poof, transportation. So this will definitely be helping me on not only on my shrine quest to do all 120 shrines, I have about half of them done right now. But it's also going to help me find a lot of Korok seeds. I don't think I'm going to find all 900. I mean, I might, because it's there to do. And I'm honestly loving this game right now. I'm actually trying to put a review together for it. But I just, I just can't. I'm, like, trying to upgrade my tunic of time since that's my uh, outfit of choice representing the N64 days my favorite Zelda era not just for Ocarina of Time but Majora's Mask as well Majora's Mask then Ocarina of Time for reasons I'll get into in future videos um, but yeah I do have some Zelda content coming as well as some more Sonic content coming, Final Fantasy and Kingdom Hearts. It's all coming, specifically Final Fantasy IX. Basically any game that I did a live stream of in the last year or so, I'm probably going to be doing a review of. So that's at least Final Fantasy IX, a lot of the Kingdom Hearts games. Sonic Mania and Sonic Forces. Even though the Sonic Forces live stream, there was no story spoilers since... I was streaming for my PS4 and not my PS, my PC on remote play. And Sega, for some reason, has blocked content on all the cutscenes in Sonic Forces. So I'll definitely be doing a comparison video comparing Mania to Forces. And where I think Forces fall short of Mania. But enough about that. I hope you enjoyed this Legend of Zelda breath of the wild video and if you don't have the master cycle zero and you're looking to do more than like 14 percent of the side quests or of the quests like me definitely get this item if you're like my initial playthrough and just do the divine beast get the master sword get the hylian shield fight again and it's probably not worth your while but i'm loving this game so much that I felt like it was worth it, and if you're still playing this game and finding new secrets, you're probably going to want to pick up this DLC pack and not only do this, but also do the Trial of the Sword from the DLC pack 1, which I haven't done yet, so I'm going to go do that here in a minute. Got to make this video first. Anyway, that's all I have to say for tonight, today by the time you see this, or maybe tomorrow night. Who knows, I'm recording this in advance. I was going to record this closer to time, but I figured why put off until tomorrow what I can do today. So without further ado, have a good day, good night, 
And if I don't post a video up before next week, which I probably will post one before next week, I may or may not. Have a good holiday. Be safe. Enjoy family. Because that's what this time of the year is really about. I know me. Come Saturday, I'm going to have family in. And I'm looking forward to it. So take care, everybody. Thank you.